All right, guys, this is Andrew at Flory PB. Uh, we're going to do the board manual verbally and uh, show you guys the programming process for this marker with the new board. Uh, to turn the gun on, you have to press the top button with the switch on. I have the grips open just to see the color sequence. Your booting sequence is blue. Your red light means you're good to fire. The center button is how you turn the eyes on and off. The light turns green. When the eyes are off on this one, it also blinks. So if you actually had eyes, red would mean a ball is in the breech. Blinking red means you have an eye malfunction, so the eyes don't see anything. And green means the, ble the breech is clear. So if you have, which could come set up this way stock, if you have the dip switch in the four dip switches that you see, If you have the fourth dip switch up, it's allowed to go into programming mode. Uh, programming mode. So turn the marker off. Make sure it's turned on. We hold our finger on the trigger and press the power button. You see a cycle. When it stops lighting, you release you release the trigger. So now you have a cycle of lights. You have a green light, a blue light, a purple light, a yellow light, a teal light, and a red light. Green is dwell, blue is fi a rate of fire, purple is the anti-mechanical bounce. This purple setting only shows up if your dip switch 3 is up. If it's down, this setting will go away. Uh, in modern paintball, we don't really care about this all that much, but it's there if you guys want it. Then yellow is ball in is ball and breach delay. So this is if you have eyes, how long it takes for the marker to shoot after it sees the paint break the breach. That's something that you can fine tune a little bit. Our factory setting is one millisecond. It, it's you know if for some reason it's real fragile paint and it's cold out and you have eyes, maybe let that take a little more time. Let the paint settle in. Teal is our firing mode. We have four firing modes available. One pull is going to be semi, two is auto, three is NXL, and four is a uh, regular parabolic ramping, which is just a, an artifact of this marker. Then red is debounce. Debounce is, uh, at this point, I'm pretty sure you guys would all know what debounce is, but that's so you don't get extra shots in your semi. We're factory set at five milliseconds. Play with it if you want. If you want to just change the mode, just press and hold the trigger a little bit. Once it goes out, Once it goes out, you put the amount in that you want to set it to, which in that case, that is green, it's dwell. We want to set it to 14, which is the factory setting in all angels. So you pull the trigger 14 times, you let it cycle back through the lights. If you want to see what the, the firing mode is, or what the, the mode is, hold the trigger. And it will show you how many times it flashed, which is 10. Now you got to reset it. Sorry. So we did this this way. Uh, you know, I, I didn't mind how Virtue Boards would just kind of give it to you and, and tell you it. Uh, I think Predator Boards do the same thing. But I never really loved the Tadeo Boards. They needed to finish telling you or counting before you were allowed to adjust it. So this way you can adjust it on the fly. And most of the time when I'm, when I'm adjusting them, I don't exactly care what the setting is. I'm just trying to put it to something that I want it to be. So this saves time. And that was the, the reason going for this. And that is generically how you code this board. This board has a couple other features to it, which we'll turn it off again. So turn it off, turn it back on. And it's ready to fire. Uh, let's make sure we're in ramp. Oop. So you can screw that up. So you hold it.
You can turn it off either way with the, the soft switch or the hard switch off and on. Uh, when you're storing it, turn it off up here so the battery doesn't drain because it's a, a constant on kind of board. Um, we have a couple different features going on. If you have eyes, there is a force shot on this. So if it's not reading the paint and you hold the trigger, it will force a shot in any mode. The top button, as we discussed, is your power button. The middle is your eye button. This bottom button doesn't do anything. It's just there so you can keep your buttons in the back and it, it feels right. And we talked about the anti-mechanical bounce being uh, dip switch three. The other three, other four dip switches do things as well. The first dip switch is your anti-bolt stick. Uh, it's just on or off. It just adds dwell to the first shot if you want it. If you don't, you can turn it off. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. Wow, that's about me. The second dip switch is the anti-mechanical bounce, the purple one, which is on or off as we discussed. The third switch is your eye rate of fire uh, cap enabled. So you're going to want to leave that on in Modern Paintball. Uh, basically, if you turn that off, it's going to be uncapped if you have eyes. And, you know, Modern, 10 balls a second now, you don't want to do that. So we're going to leave that on. But theoretically, if you want to play a pure semi, you can turn that off if you had eyes. If not, it's going to always be capped. You can change the cap. It's adjustable from 1 balls per second to 40 balls per second of the, uh, the speed. And I'm just going through the make sure I'm not missing anything on our little layout. But if we're in tournament lock, so we turn dip switch down to four, we turn dip switch four off. A little easier said than done with a uh, ballpoint end mill or ballpoint Allen key. If we turn that off, the backside has the instructions on how to do the programming like I showed you. How to tune it, uh, description of each mode, and description of every the dwell and stuff like that. If I wasn't thorough and you're you know it's your first time, you don't know exactly what dwell is and such. Now that we have a way to check our battery, so we're gonna do the same exact thing. We're gonna turn the marker on. We're gonna hold our trigger, but we're in tournament lock mode, so we can't adjust the settings. But if we turn it on with the trigger held, hold the trigger. One, two, three, four. That means we know that the battery is full. Four flashes of green means full battery. Three flashes, three quarters full. Two flashes, half full. Uh, around that time, I would suggest getting a new battery. You know, one flash means you're pretty dead. And, and there's your uh, your PSP mode. Or sorry, your, your NXL mode now. It's modern ramp, so if you go too slow, it cuts out. And if you get it fast enough, it will continue to shoot 10. Or whatever you set it to. If you set your rate of fire to 12, it would shoot 12. But it's just modern ramp to uh, whatever rate of fire you decide to have. And uh, that is a visual representation on how to program this board, how to manipulate the settings, and how to do all of the features that the board has. And... Uh, if you have any more questions or you need me to go into more detail with something, I'd be happy to do it. But uh, that's it for this. Thank you, guys.